Paki-turn on naman ng ating camera just for the start of the program para we can see everyone, we can see each other. I see familiar faces. Yung mga paniwala thesis na, nalingat lang tayo, ARC Des 1 now, ARC Des 9 na. So this term, we have um, a large contingent of thesis proponents. So we also have, of course, um, a large group of thesis mentors. So starting this term, um, we can now use uh, CLR um, as a group as individual consultations. So, kailangan lang mag, uh, magsabi in advance through our mentors. So, always keep ready yung vaccination card so that when you go to campus, or you can even go as individual, um, you can um, access yung CLR um, website and then you can your seats in our library. So, bukas na yung library natin. This is the last term. Bukas naman na siya. Um, nakakahiram na ako ng libro. But um, ngayon, is um, it's open for our students. So, um, I think we have our mentors here. Mamaya, after I'm done, I'll, 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 I'll go around and introduce them. But <clears throat> I just want to say now, we're all excited to start um, this term. And, um, we will attempt to have um face to face events para naman medyo masaya yung start ng term natin and starting next term um we will have more subjects for face to face so um definitely pag graduate natin if we finish this <clears throat> face to face na yung graduation natin so slowly things are changing and um we thank everyone for their patience uh, medyo thesis ng online, it's a different experience. Um, it uh, it needs or requires uh, a more close communication with our mentors. Uh, dalawang taon na po namin ginagawa yung thesis um, and uh, with the help of the protocol that we created, um, medyo we were able to ano naman, adjust. But it's always about the students being able to communicate, with their mentors and the, stu the mentors then being able to uh, know, to communicate with their students. So keep those lines open. Um, some mentors use Big Sky. Some mentors use uh, Microsoft Teams. So whatever the platform the mentors will use, I trust that the students um, will, um, will be able to facilitate. So we're really excited for this term. And then sana... Uh, maging successful tayong lahat. So maraming salamat for attending this afternoon and thank you Miss MC for indulging me for a few minutes. Maraming salamat po. Thank you Sir Harvey. Madai pang pumapasok. Okay, so allow me to share my screen para doon sa ating presentation sa ating thesis orientation. Okay, so today is the start no, ng ating ano ba, journey sa thesis. And this is our thesis forum for the first term ng ating academic year 2022 to 2023. Okay, so ngayon, no, ang ating na school is School of Environment and Design. So ito na yung bago nating ano ba, set up <laughs> or innovation ng SDA. Okay, so yung ating program is under na ng School of Environment and Design together with uh, interior design and uh, industrial design, fashion design, and merchandising. Okay. So yung thesis, ano ba yung thesis project natin? Okay, so sa architecture, bago tayo kapunta sa dead end. Okay, like other mga programs, meron tayong thesis or research. Ano nga ba ang research, lalong-lalo na sa atin dito sa BS Architecture? 
Actually, ang definition ng research, napakalawak, napakarami. Okay? Walang definite na definition na ibinigay sa dami ng mababasa definition of so, sa Merriam-Webster, no, sa mga iba-iba nating dictionary. But the most important thing na kailangan natin ma-remember when, when doing a research is meron tayong scientific study na ginagawa. Okay? So you need to look at the body of knowledge and its processes. Okay? So it is one part of research. Kaya meron tayong science. Okay? And then the application of knowledge. This is the technology. Okay? Kaya lagi tayong sabi, ano ang innovation dito sa inaaral natin, dun sa gusto natin i-research. Okay? Ano yung kailangan natin i-improve? So right now, meron tayo talagang napaka-bilis no? na development pagdating sa technology and we want to take advantage of those innovations in one of the component of research is technology wherein we apply the knowledge okay, that we are searching or learning. Third is the engineering or design part ng ating research. Okay? So we need to design on how to implement this application of knowledge na ating theory research. Okay? Another component of research is the mathematics or the logic and abstraction. Okay? We need to have uh, support doon sa ating kiniklaim na na proposal or na solution to a problem. That's why we are doing survey, no? we are doing uh, statistical analysis and all. So that is the part of uh, logical reasoning or the mathematics part ng ating research. Kaya nga, iba nung nag-senior high kayo or na, kasi dati wala kami ganun. Na. So senior high, we are under the STEM. STEM is the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Okay? So, sa research, yun ang ating hinahanap. Okay? Kinakailangan, ang research natin is scientific. And then, meron tayong technology. We have the design for our solution. And it should be supported by logical reasoning, no? true mathematics. Yan. So, yung ating thesis, no? meron tayong architectural thesis code or yung ATC na tinatawag. And all of the details that you will be needing for our uh, thesis courses, eh, makikita nito. Most, most specifically, sa ArcDes 9 and ArcDes 10, makikita nandito ang ating mga R-Search students. Technically, ang R-Search is the step number one okay, ng ating research. Uh, sa R-Search, will be guided on how to do and write your thesis. Okay? So, makikita nyo rin dyan sa portion ng ating ATC, meron doon na halaga ng mga thesis board members. Okay? Sila kasi is magiging part din ng inyong journey. They are the ones who will help you out no? dito sa ating thesis project towards the Rivalida. Okay? So this term, we have yung ating thesis board members starting with our uh, SED Dean. Siyempre, nandyan si, si Ma'am Asela, si Dean Asela, no? architect, Doty Asela Domingo. She is the Dean of the School of Environment and Design. And of course, no, nandito ang ating program chairperson, si Sir Harvey, architect uh, Harvey Vasquez. So in case na meron kayong problem sa BS Architecture, ang ating uh, pinaka matatakbuhan, no, maaasahan is yung ating program chairperson. Para naman sa ating visual communication and data management track coordinator, and dyan si Sir Janiel Arlelli. And for planning track coordinator, si Ma'am Angie no? Ramos. For history, theory, criticism track coordinator, si Sir Matthew Chua. And for the professional practice track coordinator, siyempre si Ma'am Erica Dia. And for the creative studies track coordinator, si Sir Jim, architect Jimmy Cameron. And for the technical studies track coordinator, Ang ating pinaka masayahin, Sir Noel Nicholas, 
At syempre, ang ating Building Science Track Coordinator, si Sir Dave David Barcelona. Para naman sa ating Engineering Science Track Coordinator, nandyan si Ma'am Kalim Magsino. And for the thesis track, yours truly, I'm Dr. Maribel Tobera. So if ever may question about the research or if you want to learn more, ask for ano ba, additional mga seminars, trainings, you can ask sa akin so that I can extend no? um, more information with regards to research processes and methodologies. Okay? So those uh, uh, line up no, ng ating thesis board members. Okay? So makikita rin natin sa ATC, meron tayong thesis council. Sino ba ang ating thesis council? They consist of previous and current either full-time faculty or part-time faculty thesis mentors. Okay? Kasi makita nyo doon for uh, the sets of jurors, meron faculty members, meron thesis council, pwedeng thesis board member. Okay? So pag sinabi natin thesis council, sila yung mga naging faculty member or teachers, advisors na mga thesis class natin. Okay? And the thesis mentors, they are the current mentor who are assigned thesis course so for, for term ito. Okay? So thesis proponent, kayo yan. Okay? So you are the students na running, ano ba, candidates for graduation at doing their research projects. Okay? So pag saan natin thesis proponents, yan po ang ating mga researcher writers. Okay? Oh, sorry. So right now, sa architecture program, we have uh, three, no? Thesis strands. Okay? So meron tayong three options. Saan ba nakalinya? Nakal okay, ang inyong interest pagdating sa uh, pag-research. Okay, so number one, ay, ay, yung number two, nag-move. Number one is yung ating, syempre, design exploration. For critical theory elements, experimental design, iterations, design visualization, and argumentation, if this is your interest, nandiyan tayo sa ating design exploration. Yung second, na-move lang ito. So number two natin is the innovation. Okay, so this is a project-based research. It critically contributes to the body of knowledge and projects that are fairly innovative than previous benchmarks. Now, if you want to innovate or improve mga current uh, building designs or yung ating built environment. So number two is the innovation. Okay, so number three is the invention. It's for architectural science, building processes, materials, constructions, and systems. Okay? So aside from the thesis strands, meron din tayong tinatawag na research agenda. So kailangan, if you are looking at research topics, meron tayong tinatawag na agenda. Dapat naka, ano rin tayo dito, <clears throat> nakalinya rin okay? sa ating research agenda or the five platforms of excellence. Okay, at this time or the current term, ito yung ating five platforms of excellence. Number one is urban decay and resurrection, wherein a large segment of the world population will be, diba, we are saying now we are living in an urban centers and the biggest of these centers are in South and Southeast Asia. And the country capital such as Manila, no, right now is experiencing urban decay. And we are trying to look at how are we going to ano ba, uh, solve okay, this problem. And this can be seen, itong mga problems na to, manifested ab aberrations in water security and management, mobility, disaster re resiliency, connectivity, and health and well-being. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to generate or look for solutions okay, that is generated by the design of the built and virtual environments, play by a vital role not only in improving the quality of life in these decaying urban centers, but in resurrecting them into a happy, healthy, efficient, and resilient places for living. Okay, So this is one of our 
research agenda, baka nandito ang inyong interest. Second option, we have mobility. So among many issues, no? Dito sa ating urban center, mobility of people, information, and goods, no? Ranks the highest. And the hallmark of a highly evolved urban center is the free and inexpensive passage of people, information, and goods. So we need to design and look for system solutions that, to address issues of urban mobility, which are relevant and integral to a healthy urban life. Okay, so this is our second option for your uh, thesis uh, topic or focus. Third is about housing. So next to mobility you know, is the issue of housing, especially for the large masses of people who lives in the country capital in Asia. And in developing economies of ASEAN and South Asia, the shortage or even the absence of housing generate even bigger problems of health and sanitation, food security, and disaster resiliency. Okay, so we are trying to look at new typologies and materials that is generated by new behavior patterns that needs to be created and developed okay, for future uh, improvement or innovation ng ating mga housing project. So an innovative revisions on systems and policies are needed in order for us to solve these uh, housing problems. So number four to our research agenda are the resources and design. Basically in the Philippines, uh, meron tayong possession of vast natural resources. Most are exotic and largely unharnessed for the public good, like the lahar, the husks, the bamboo or and the uh, bamboo fibers, coconut, and urban solid waste and automotive, automotive and computer refuse. So these are uh, being ano ba, wasted, no? Parang sayang siya or hindi natin siya na nag-utilize ng maayos as a resource okay, in our industry. So maybe you may look at how we can use these materials or as a raw material sa ating mga future building uh, needs or resources. Okay, so design and development or development research is the starting point in transforming these materials so that they can be useful no, in the future because a lot of uh, these materials are not being utilized well. So you can maybe you know, research on how to utilize this as your raw material to make it useful and to have a more beautiful available building materials in the future. Okay? So as a further concept migration, design may also be with the center of harnessing human resource with the overarching strategy of uh, human-centered design and uh, design. Ang tawag natin sa DP? Ano tawag natin dyan sa Harvey sa DP? Human-centered design or yung isa pa natin is human-centered design or ano? Ay, nawala sa isip ko. Ang DP. <laughs> Nasa dulo na ng dilam. Oo nga, pero versus yan eh. No? So sa ngayon kasi is baka no, hindi natin pa masyadong nafocus sa human uh, use yung ating mga projects. So yung DT is the before and this one is the innovation. Wherein we are doing this design for uh, more human-centered na functionality. Okay. So last for our research agenda, current research agenda is the international economy. So borderless reciprocity and free passage of services and goods are the economic agendas of the next 30 years. And competitiveness and market relevance are the probably the only currencies that economies shall soon accept. No? So international economies, alam naman natin na uh, the world market is really 
affecting kung ano yung economy ng Philippines. Okay, so yung international practice natin and uh, improvement is necessary para yung yung ating mga goods eh, madali makaka labas no or ma access ng ibang countries. So good design is good business and the good design is competitive and relevant. So the development of good design needs the understanding of a mind that is global in perspective. Okay, so the development of good design needs the development of networks and alliances that shall contribute and collaborate in solving local problems with globally oriented solution or vice versa. Okay? Ayan, design thinking yung DT natin. <laughs> so yung ating design thinking can be uh, siguro dapat ay ma-improve ma, ma natin or ma-innovate natin no? into a human-centered thinking. Ayan. Sorry for that. Okay, so this, itong five research agenda natin, this is the current na research agenda or five platforms of excellence na ginagaw ano ba, guide natin no, sa mga researchers. Pero next term, meron tayong approved na five research agenda that may be uh, used naman doon sa mga nag a search ngayon. So later, before we end the slide, meron tayo doon sa bagong five platforms of excellence. But for at least nine and ten sa ngayon, these are the five platforms of excellence that you may look at no, in preparing your thesis proposal. Okay, so this is a typical research uh, framework. Number one, for the introduction. No? For the introduction part, we are looking at new knowledge, which is also uh, involve yung other discipline. Kaya nga ang research natin is multidisciplinary, okay? which is connected to architecture. Okay, so some of you may be interested in innovating agriculture, the, the medical industry, the commercial, the industrial, and all, but ang hinahanap natin dito is how are you going to connect architecture with this um, other discipline. Okay, so all researches are multidisciplinary, so hindi kayo dyan mahihirapan just a look at the connection, okay? So second uh, step natin after ng ating introduction or nakaroon na kayo na ano ba, what idea about your topic is craft your problem statement. There are lots of gap dito sa ating existing body of knowledge or existing mga researches, but what you need to know at is the gap, ano yung hindi pa natin nasasolve na portion nitong mga researches or problems na ito para hindi natin maduplicate no? yung other studies. Sasabihin na ibang student, paano yun ma'am? No? Napakarami ng mga researches, napakarami ng mga, research, uh, mga thesis projects before, mahirapan na kaming humanap ng mga topics na wala dyan. It's okay no? na nandyan pa rin na nandyan or similar sa mga existing na mga topic for as long as you'll be able to identify the gap which part of that idea or that research ang hindi pa nasasol. Okay, so you may also look at the end of the thesis uh, articles or thesis projects na inyong nababasa. Meron kasi dyan, di ba? Recommendation for future research. So ano dun yung hindi nila nasol? Eh, baka yun yung inyong uh, gusto na ituloy no na topic or maybe pwede mo rin baligtarin yung kanilang na nasabing solution baka may makita ka diyan na parang mali yung solution nitong researcher na ito no para sa tingin mo mali yan you need to research and ano yung tama so pwede natin siyang i-propose na baligtarin yung solution na yan okay kaya nga tuloy-tuloy lang ang pagre-research kasi Marami pa tayong nadidiscover na new knowledge at meron tayong mga nakita na dati ay akala nating tama, yung pala ay mali. Di ba sa ngayon sa mga history books, marami na rin na nabago or binago because nakakita sila ng panibagong uh, facts. No? Kaya nabaliktad yung mga dati nating nasa history. 
na nakasulat. O, yung history nung elementary ako, parang marami nang napalitan ngayon. Okay? Iba na ang nakasulat sa mga history book. Kaya kung eh, gusto natin din yung basahin yung mga bagay. Okay? So sa problem statement, we need to express the knowledge gap and then identify your main problems and what will be your new direction. Kaya meron kayo doon ng mga research questions na gustong sagutin. No? Na susulat natin research questions and the answer is coming from your mga readings. Kaya nandun siya sa related literature. Okay, so third step natin are the goals and objectives. So you need also to write your goals and objectives. It should be, uh, it should tackle a wider issue of architecture and specifically, uh, dapat ay nakafocus tayo syempre sa mga, ano ba, gusto natin malaman, gusto natin ma-attain. You need to answer the mga question na why, why ganyan ang ating mga situation, bakit ganito ang ating uh, kumbaga, built environment, for example. So, ano ang gagawin natin para yan ay itama? No? So, those are the objectives yung inyong mga gagawin. This is also to strengthen your research. Okay? So, sa goals and objectives, you need to write what, why, and how are you going to achieve these uh, mga goals and objectives or yung gusto natin maging a project or proposal. So next step is your research methodology. How are you going to acquire data to support your research? And it is also advisable, even though na this one is, is a number four, it, it can be crafted earlier, no? Dito sa ating stage para magkaroon tayo ng guide on how are you going to do the procedure or steps in your research, okay? So it relates the objective to answer your questions, okay? And then step number five, after natin na ma-craft ang ating introduction, problem statement, goals and objective, your scope and limitation of the problem, okay? at alam mo na rin yung iyong mga steps na gagawin in doing the research. Next natin is gathering of data, okay? And data analysis so that you can look at Ano ba ang ating mga naging findings na tutulungan? Paano tayo nito tutulungan to solve the problem? No? Yung iyong statement of the problem. So it should be based on your gathered data. Okay? Hindi pwedeng opinion mo lang. Kaya na kailangan this is uh, supported by uh, information na nakuha natin from articles or from your survey no or interview yeah, so do sa ating research process okay so after that syempre meron tayong analysis of data and findings ang atin ng conclusions and recommendations should be presented sa inyong magiging design solution okay so yung design solution kay na kailangan ay guided nitong ating ginawang research na processes okay So sa thesis process, sabi ko nga technically no, ang our search is the first step, okay, ng ating thesis or ng ating research uh, journey. Okay, so sa our search, ito yung tinatanong at architectural research methodology. Dito tayo tutuan or ito guide on how to do yung inyong uh, pagre-research at pagsulat ng book. And then second step natin after you pass our search is the ArcGIS 9 or yung ating uh, architectural design or thesis one. Okay, so dito ikakraft na natin yung ating preliminary thesis book. Dito natin gagawin ang inyong mga uh, ipa-finalize ang pagre-research. At syempre meron din yan revalida. After you pass ArcGIS 9, yung ating last step ng ating research process or thesis process is the art test then where in dito natin na kinukumpit ang mga collaterals ang uh, mga research or design outputs and finalization of your thesis book okay so sa final output yan ang ating uh, EA expect no sa so art test then plus syempre yung in thesis defense okay so sa our search or the architectural research methodology. This is a three-unit lecture course. And dito, 
i-discuss ng inyong professor yung mga iba't ibang parts ng ating thesis book or yung part ng introduction, how to do the the writing no ng abstract, how are you going to propose your thesis title and how to write the background of the study, yung ating problem identification, writing ng goals and objectives, if there would be hypothesis, how are we going to test the hypothesis? Okay, so how many books ba or articles is needed for the review of related literature? How are you going to look at tama na mga journals or tama mga articles you know, in relation to your statement of the problem and research question so that you can craft yung inyong related literature ng tama. Okay, and then the case study or yung ating mga similar projects in relation to your proposal. How to do yung ating quantitative uh, research methodology and qualitative method. Is it possible to combine itong dalawang methods na to or which one is better? No? And syempre yung ating APA format sa pagsulat ng ating research book. Okay, so APA format tayo ngayon. Ang latest is 7th edition. Okay, so this will be discussed during your our search uh, course. So after that is yung ati ng ArcGIS 9. So ArcGIS 9 is the research uh, dito. Yung inyong pag, pag-complete no? doon sa paggawa ng inyong research. Actually, kung sa R-Search, diniscuss, no? yung lecture, inexplain kung paano, okay? And ikakraft na rin natin doon yung inyong initial proposal. Sa ArcGIS 9, dito ipa-finalize yung inyong magiging thesis topic or thesis proposal. Kinakailangan ito ay talagang uh, decided na kayo on what to propose, no? Na project. At yung draft ng thesis book, kukumpletohin nyo rin yan during your ArcGIS 9. And for the ArcGIS 10, Ito na yung architectural output, continuation ito ng inyong ArcGIS 9. Okay? So, yung guide natin for ArcGIS 9 and 10, 10 is yung ating ATC. So, meron tayong architectural thesis code, version 2017, together with the ATC is yung mga addendums. Those are the changes na nangyari, no? Dito mga previous terms para tayo ay mag-adopt sa mga changes like Nung nagkaroon tayo ng pandemic, no? siyempre kailangan natin mag-adapt doon sa online classes o ngayon ay blended learning. Okay? So kaya meron tayo mga addendums. And right now, the program is trying to consolidate all the changes no? into one ATC pero hindi pa yan na-process na or na-approve pero we are in the process. So bilang hindi pa siya talaga na-finalize, doon muna tayo sa ating ATC 2017 plus the addendums. Okay? We also have mga guidelines for ArcGIS 9 and 10 that will be given by your advisors. Okay? So addendums, okay? So topic approval. And then after that, siya, yung ating endorsement, no? yung iba't ibang uh, steps ng ating uh, endorsement for your revalida and the uh, terminal defense. Okay? So meron din tayong Rubric, bago lang from the last last two terms. Okay, so, so ngayon yun yung inyong magiging thesis defense rubric that would be also discussed later and disseminated by your advisors. So sa ArcGIS 9, this is book research and valida. Sa ating collaterals, it is expected yung ating chapter 1 no, na tapusin dito. Chapter 2, yung inyong related literature. So sa chapter 1, sa so introduction, nandiyan yung background of the study, statement of the problems, ano pa, yung research questions, research goal and objectives, scope and limitations, and hypothesis kung meron, yung ating mga definition of terms. Okay, so lahat yan ay nasa chapter 1. And then, uh, hopefully, madiscuss nyo rin doon sa chapter 1, yung inyong magiging theoretical uh, framework, although the framework is presented in chapter 3 together with other frameworks like the conceptual framework and the methodological framework and research design. This okay, so is a chapter 2. It is uh, yung ating review of related literature. So sa so chapter 2, 
it's all about mga articles, readings, and case studies in relation to your research questions. No? Ano yung mga nahanap natin from the readings na sasagot sa inyong mga research questions that would be written in chapter 2. So sa chapter 2, walang mang, wala mang dagaling sa sarili ninyong opinion. Walang galing sa atin. It's all coming from the readings. Okay, and then chapter 4 is the start of your design process. Uh, sa art list 9, it is expected, syempre, kasama dyan yung yung ating uh, site, no? Uh, tag dito, paghanap sa site, tamang site para sa inyong proposal. Yung ating uh, site analysis, no? Yung mga ganyan. And then site development plan. And initially, yung ating space programming, crafting of the schematic floor plans and conceptualization ng inyong magiging uh, building uh, structures. Okay? So, lahat yun is nasa Artdesk 9 pa rin. Okay? Pero, syempre, if finalize yan, doon sa Artdesk 10. Okay? So, yan ay part ng ating party. And, syempre, sa finals, meron din kayo dyan na revalida. Okay? So, it is expected that you will present your thesis proposal and prepare a PowerPoint presentation and a video recording of your uh, presentations. Okay? Yes. Sorry. So sa Art Desk 9, it is also recommended that you write your schedule no? or yung inyong timeline para rin meron kayo mga guide for your milestones. No? So you write your week 1, week 2, week 3 activities. no, And then this is just a kumaga, recommendation. But of course, no, you can still uh, craft your own based on sa kaya ninyong gawin na mga output per week. And it should be guided also and approved by your advisors. But don't forget yung week 7, no? this is our midterms assessment. And yung ating uh, deadline. Okay, so kinakailangan yung 12 and 13, ito ay naka-save na for your revalida. So kung 12 and 13 is the revalida, of course, the 11 is for your endorsement. Okay, so kailangan ay iayos ninyo yung inyong schedule, okay, based on your research activities. At syempre, yung ating week 14, this is for the review, prototyping, and grade consultation with your advisors, okay. So this is the rubric, approved rubric for our design. So, meron tayo dito makikita ng mga criteria, no? Ito din yung trading points natin. Excellent, very good, acceptable, and accepted, and acceptable. Okay, so for the excellent, we have four. Four points, makita nyo dyan, very good ay three points. Acceptable is two point, And yung unacceptable is one point. Okay, so makita ninyo dito yung guide. Paano kayo makakakuha ng four? Paano kayo makakakuha ng three? Bakit ka makakakuha ng one? Okay, so sa Art Desk 9, makikita nyo dito yung sa first criteria is about chapter 1. Okay, so babasahin dyan about the background of the study, yung statement of the problems and the goal, no? yung scope, limitation, and your hypothesis. Siyempre, titignan yan if it supports your thesis proposal. Okay, so sa chapter 2, yung ating review of related literature, titignan din dyan how you organize your RRL. Ito ba is able to answer your research questions? Okay, so yan yung ating chapter 2. And then, another criteria for chapter 3 are your frameworks. Titignan dito yung inyong theoretical framework, conceptual framework, yung methodological framework, including the research design. Okay, and then yung part D, at least yung sabi natin, syempre simula na ito ng design process. So expected dyan yung ating site selection process, uh, site analysis, site development, no, yung ating mga uh, space programming and schematic designs. Okay? And last criteria for Art Desk 9 is yung ating uh, presentation. Okay? How do you how do you present your thesis proposal? Kaya may narrative. Tama ba yung pagkakakwento na intindihan ba ng ating mga jurors? Okay, tama ba yung ating uh, 
nagiging path towards the solution to your problems. Okay? So, this is uh, kumbaga para sa inyong revalida. So, meron tayong defense or uh, Q&A from the juror. So, right now, ano pa rin naman tayo? Uh, online. So, meron tayong options. Either yan ay magkakaroon kayo ng synchronous or asynchronous. Uh, depende sa inyong class advisor. No? So, didiscuss nyo yan for class later on. So, for the grading system ng ating ArcGIS 9, 60% grade will be coming from the three jurors and 40% coming from your mentor or your advisor. Okay? So, sa ArcGIS 9, uh, ArcGIS 10, so continuation, if you pass the ArcGIS 9, your project is iku-continue lang. Okay? So, don't try to propose another new topic. Hindi yun. No? Hindi magkakasya yung inyong time. Okay, so ang expected collateral natin, syempre, yung ating uh, final okay, book. Okay, so thesis book. And yung thesis book natin is uh, printed and nakabind. Okay, for Art Destin. So this is from chapter 1 to 5. I, uh, ano na natin yan, if a finalize na. Okay, and that would be also part of your final requirement before you graduate. And yung ating references or bibliography should be in APA format. Architectural output, expected, present, ang inyong site analysis, site development plan, of course, yung inyong final floor plans, mga diagrams, and design process. If, syempre, kasama pa rin, no? elevation, section, ng inyong mga floor plans, yun yung mga perspective, no? interior and exterior perspective, yung iba nag-provide pa na kada mga book through on how you can best present your project. Okay? Don't forget the architectural base section. And dito sa pore layout, minimum natin is 2 na A0 ang size no? na board or sheet. Okay, so ang ating final presentation or thesis defense requirement pa rin, syempre you need to provide your PowerPoint presentation to show all the needed information and to back up or support your thesis proposal and solution. Okay, and syempre expected pa rin na meron tayong recorded uh, video for your presentation. This is to support no, in case na magkakaroon na mga untoward Incident, like for example, kung online at wala ng internet uh, connection or maybe ikaw is nagkasakit pero natapos mo naman siya and you will not be able to present live, at least meron ka na naka-prepare naka no, na video presentation that can be accessed by your jurors. Okay? So as our distance students, uh, it is also recommended that you craft your schedule okay, based on our ano, week no, na, na calendar. So, um, depende rin kasi in how fast or ano ba yung mga sa tigid mo is mas comfortable kang unahin because this one naman is a ano, design output. No? Kung baga, ito na yung ating uh, finalization ng inyong magiging final presentation. Yung inyong workload, paano nyo siya hahatiin. Okay? Pero it should be also guided by your advisor. And don't also forget yung ating week 7, which is the midterm week. And ano na dapat doon ang makikita ng inyong advisor. And syempre, yung ating endorsement. Okay? So, yung endorsement, importante yan. So, final endorsement for Act Desk 10 is week 10. Okay? Production and final edits uh, for week 11. For 12 and 13, that would be your terminal defense week. At week 14 is finalization and binding and submission of your final book. Okay? And of course, grade consultation. This is the deciding factor. Yung nakapasa na tayo, tayo ay graduate na. Okay? Ayan. So ito yung ating rubric for Art Destin. So for the criteria, nandiyan pa rin yung ating chapter 1 ng book. Chapter, kasi finalization na to, no? So kung ano man yung mga naging comments from your Art Destin, 
na kailangang baguhin or kumpletohin. So, you need to complete it by this time. Okay, finalize na. Chapter 2, ganun pa rin, yung ating review of related literature. They will look at its organization. Tama ba yung pagkakakraft, pagkakasulat. Siyempre, no, yung ating pa rin, ano, uh, tawag dito, dapat yan ay check na ng ating internet in kung walang plagiarism. Okay? So, kailangan din ng support niya. And yung ating oral defense, eto may kailangan talaga na may pakita ninyo na kayo ay qualified okay, to graduate. At yung ating chapter 5, conclusion and recommendation. Tugma ba yung solusyon na inyong pinakita doon sa statement of your problem? Baka lumigwak, no? Lumiko. Iba yung problema, iba yung nasol. So, hindi siya swak o hindi yung papasa. So, yun yung ating uh, hahanapin sa inyong final presentation. Okay? So, ganun din yung ating scoring. May mga 4 points, 4 points, 3, 2, 1. Okay? So, 60% pa rin coming from your jurors and 40% coming from the mentor or your advisor to get your final grade. Okay? So, ganun ang atin sa ATC, nakasulat pa rin dyan na kung meron tayong tatlong jurors, no, kinakailangan dalawa sa inyong mga jurors pass ang makuha ninyong grade. Otherwise, you will fail. Okay? In order for you to pass, you need to get two passing grade from two jurors. Pag dalawa ang failed, failed yun. Okay? So, no, no question asked. It was written in our architectural thesis code. Yun yun. May question pa doon? Wala naman, ano? Kasi kung isa lang ang nagpasa sa'yo, ay eh, questionable. So, kung dalawa nag-pass, isa ang nag-fail, nag pass yun. Okay? So, bilang mga students, at nag-iisip tayo ng ating magiging thesis proposal or research proposal, try to answer how will you figure out things to help improve our society. It is very important. No? Sa pagka-craft ng inyong thesis proposal, nandyan ang science, ano yung ating uh, gustong aralin, ano yung may problem. And don't forget the technology, ano yung ating innovation. At don't forget, syempre, especially, sino ba ang makikinabang sa inyong research? And that is the society or the community. Okay? Tayo bilang mga designers, tayo ang mag improve ng built environment of the future. Try to figure out no, what can you do to help improve our society and the built environment. Plus, of course, how to conserve yung natural uh, environment natin. Okay? So how do you plan in building up new scientific idea to show, no, to showcase also what you learn from uh, this program? Para masabi ikaw ay architect na. Okay? Yeah, madaling makita. Mahirap gawin. Hindi naman. Okay? So, I'll, let me just uh, show or present yung new research agenda that can be uh, used no, sa ating R search ngayon. Kasi ito ay magiging effective pa lang sa thesis next term, sa second term natin. Okay? So, maybe the R search classes can already consider the changes no, that we have in the five platforms of excellence. Okay? So first is yung climate change architecture. This is a platform that uh, intentionally argues for sustainable architecture in the midst of the global environmental changes no, that is due to the, our climate crisis. So this entails rigorous studies, and research on current and potential architectural responses that were during hazards or are designed to be built back better with agile methods. Okay, so next sa ating platform is the emergent technologies for architecture. So we need to reconfigure the design of architectural spaces and their elements as host for technology and in themselves, no, the technology that can produce energy, food, and also to sustain life uh, and, and produce or be able to have support yung ating mga necessities and other technologies beyond the Internet of Things. Okay? 
So third is yung future societies and network life. So you may consider architecture, architectures, social, cultural, and political domain, human-centered ideologies, and environmental activism, which must be defended for future societies and architectural production can be the network platform for forensic analysis that imply causalities for future living. And we have urban design for all. So it implies the confluence of environmental design creatives and regulated professions with intentional programs, forms, and urban experience that is inclusive, livable, comfortable, secure, and long-standing. Or all life cycles, no, and all of life must be considered in this study. So heritage and the future is the last of our five platforms. It reconfigures the understanding of heritage for the present beyond the ideology of conservation. No? So the contribution of architectural heritage to memory, history, and sense of place needs to be reimagined into the future of the environment, not just of the human that can confine heritage only to history, no? or worse, is to entertainment purposes. So ayaw naman natin na ganyan. So these are the new uh, platform no? ng ating research agenda for the coming second term of this academic year. Okay? So yun. <laughs> so open forum na tayo. So that is the last of our slides for the presentation. So grading system pa rin natin is zero-based. Two pass sa mga jurors and one fail is equal to pass sa inyong final grades. Two fail grade from the jurors and one pass is equivalent to failing no? the, the course. And of course, the rubrics that is presented previously will also be given by or to your advisor and disseminated to your class. Okay. So the floor is now open for open forum, open for open forum. Q and A portion na po ba tayo? Yes, sir, Harvey. Wala naman. Thank you for um, highlighting yung changes natin uh, for our research agenda. Of course, during these two years, medyo um, when we discussed yung previous na research agenda natin, hindi na siya masyadong applicable. Um, so uh, we worked on revising it this past few years to come up with yung ano, post-pandemic agenda natin. So that will be effective by next term. Um, if you are interested in using the new agenda, collaborate with your mentor. Pero it's advisable that you stick muna to the previews. To be fair, kasi a lot of you started already using the previous agenda in your research, in your R search. So, medyo mahirap na baguhin on the fly. But we do have to announce it in the forum before we unveil it next term. So, um, questions from our thesis proponents. Hindi dapat tayo mahiyain, kagraduate na tayo. So, kung malinaw naman yung pagkaka-discuss pagkaka ni Ms. MC, kaya walang tanong. For our mentors, uh, um, to start off, meron ba kayong clarifications? Meron tayong message to our proponents? Yung mga nandito na mentors natin. Sir Janine, saks lang. <laughs> ano lang? Wala lang. Just, um, yeah, first time to handle our test 9 again after two years. Um, yes. Anyway, uh, I, I yung okay naman yung clear naman yung ano yung mga points dito uh, ang ano lang dito is um, we I just want to mention about plagiarism okay so the the thing is all all our research uh, submissions yung mga ano niyo goes through um and uh, turn it in and uh, there madi detect yung mga plagiarized works no and then also uh, i'd like to mention that uh, you are refrained from just copying copy pasting from other researches uh without any uh, citations or you're going to be mimicking 
mga solutions what the has been done already and then try to pass it off as yours no those are um very wrong and uh we hope that uh, none of you will try to do it yun lang all right thank you sir janine for the turn it in just to clarify um cet um has opened turn it in for our mentors in increments of two months so uh, two months about two weeks so you have to identify um when is the timeline for your submission request for account and then open a turn it in so how how does turn it in function your mentor will actually open a class to turn it in hindi kailangan mag uh, mag log in or create ng account ng mga students we the mentor just has to create a classroom um account and give the classroom data password to the student for them to be able to access upload their paper so ang advisable dito is pdf file um at least not more than 25 mb and then from there ang rating natin is at least 20 percent of uh, content would be plagiarized. Yun yung medyo, yung para meron tayong metric na ganun. Why 20%? Kasi that's the acceptable kapag i-apply natin sa journal. So for the mentors po, um, before midterms, apply for this, the turn it in and then before and, and then after and then before finals then apply ulit para you have two times to ano, to to check the papers of our students. Para pagdating ng art this then um ano na lang madali na lang. Um uh, may nagtanong are we required to pursue our research our research topic for our thesis so that we can work or we can work on other topic. Um ideally the program kasi we 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 ano we experience na medyo bitin yung two terms. So we actually included our R search as part of the thesis or capstone um, subjects. So ideally, kung ano yung capstone top, yung R search topic natin, and maganda naman, and I think a lot of our R search classes are also taught by our thesis mentors, pwede nyo nang ituloy. So no need to change kasi um, the idea nga is to, to continue yung R search. Yun yung mas maganda. So iso so i iko concretize na lang natin sa thesis natin. So pwedeng ituloy. And then Miss MC, you will distribute yung mga packets sa mga mentors ano yung rubrics, yung operational guidelines that yes. uh, the mentors will also distribute naman accordingly sa kanilang mga students. Ah uh, yes sir, yung ano natin yung link is already there doon sa ano sa Messenger group na mga thesis mentors. Alright. So may mga you. changes, additional. Eh, add ko lang din dun sa ano na yun, sa folder na yun. So from time to time, check check lang sila yun. Alright. So please take note po mga mentors. And mm -hmm. if you have questions, nandyan naman lagi si Ms. MC to answer us. Question. Bayan. Ano ba? Inaantok ba kasi tanghali? Mag-exercise. <laughs> Kailangan magkape. Magkape. Walang question. We are 150 strong. Dami natin. Okay. So, Javi, sana masagot ni Ms. MC. Yes, Javi. Hi. Um, not sure kasi what to um, question per se. Um, pero siguro for all of the thesis and mentors na lang, um, what are some like because I, I really appreciated the tip of making your own schedule. Um, but like as a step, um like a step further from that, like what are other tips and tricks para um to you know uh, make the art this nine and ten experience. Um I guess I'm not sure what to expect because I'm so um shamper being an art this nine student. <laughs> Um, ayun, like what are in, in your opinion na lang siguro sa mga mentors like what are like fatal mistakes uh, na people don't realize are actually things that will harm them uh, moving forward ganon um, yun, that kind of thing let me try to answer 
ako muna and then I think a lot of our mentors will also have um, their fair share of tips then um, for me um, try to ano, try to recognize yung time limit kasi uh, eight weeks lang yung research for ArcGIS 9 um, so kailangan um, you are aware na you can finish within the time frame so kasi eight weeks and then the other eight to 13 is about the production for ArcGIS 9 so be aware of your time and so pag sinabi yun, um be aware then of your scope and limitations. So, um, ang lagi nating iisipin when we do a thesis, uh, ano yung problema? Ang hirap kasi minsan eh, world peace eh, di ba? I mean, yes, architecture can help solve uh, or, or help contribute. Yun pala yung word. Um, architecture cannot solve everything, but they can contribute to it. It's, ano, it's solution. So, ganun lang din. So, when we do our thesis, try to tamper down on um, on how architecture can contribute. And then, laging dapat ang lente natin is through architecture. Kasi, architecture student tayo. So, um, walang, walang isda sa dagat paano matutulungan ng architecture yun. So, those are things na medyo malawak masyado na you're casting your net too wide. So, try to be as specific as possible um, if the topic is personal, that is better kasi hindi ka magsasawa and then um, you're invested. So if you have a hobby, for example, film, photography, that could be included in architecture. Basta you are able to identify a gap in the knowledge, yun yung importante. So yung tips ko, um, recognize the time. Hindi, hindi ganun kahaba. Ang, ang, ang 14 weeks, maikli lang po yan. Ilang, ilang taon na tayo dito. So let's try to compartmentalize what are the things that we can achieve within that timeline. Always solve your given, uh, your your chosen problem, always solve it in an, in an architectural lens. Dapat architectural lagi ang patutunguan. So the problem may not be architectural, but the solution should be architectural. So tandaan po natin yun. And then, um, yun, try to select a topic na medyo interesting para sa inyo. Para hindi kayo magsawa. Isa pang problema natin is pagdating ng ArcDesk 9, kalahatian, babaguhin yung topic. That's a recipe for disaster. So yung tinanong kanina kung pwede ba yung R search gamitin na mas maganda po yun para mas mahaba yung process natin, mas mahaba yung runway natin. It also ensures us na uh, talagang pinag-isipan natin kasi we took time with it. When you present your topic to your mentor, alam ng mentor yan kung hilaw yung topic kasi kahapon nyo lang ginawa. Minadali nyo yung research question. So ako as a mentor personally, I'm offended kapag ganun, kapag minamadali yung output. Kasi para sa akin, kung hindi nyo mabigyan ng time, huwag nyo nalang ipasa. ba? And, and this is your thesis, so you really have to spend time with this. Hindi siya pwede ng weekend work lang. Okay? Uh, that's not gonna work. It has to be um, something that you are invested in and makikita yan sa paper. So yung tatlong yun, um, if you abide by that, there's a big chance na your are your your process would be more successful. Yeah, tama maganda yung advice ni sir, no? Wag pa bago-bago ng isip. <laughs> Mahal mo siya ngayon, bukas iba na. Hindi pwede yan, no? As a meter si ba na. <laughs> Hindi matatapos yan. Okay, so ang isa ko pang advice, focus on the problem, isa lang. Focus on one problem to be solved. Marami tayong problema, of course. Kasi kung minsan nagbabasa ka, no? basa ka ng basa mga articles about your topic and then biglang maguguluhan yung isip mo sa sobrang dami mong gustong isolve. Dami mo kasing na, na iba pa mga problems about your project. Diba? Limbawa, school. Sa school, hindi lang iisa ang problema. Napakaraming problema. But you need to focus on one. Solve one problem at a time. Para matatapos natin ito. Because ang na-observe kong problem with the students no sa kanilang mga thesis projects, ang daming gustong isolve. Kaya nagkabuhol-buhol na yung kanilang research o nagkabuhol-buhol na rin ang isip. 
So try to focus on one problem at yun lang ang ating isosolve towards your thesis project. Eh, pag naging professional na dun yun na isolve yung iba. Okay? Kasi otherwise, forever ka na maging student. Kakagawa ng bagong thesis project. Okay? So yun yung isa kong advice. Focus sa isa lang na problema. Huwag dalawa, huwag tatlo, lalo. Okay? Any additional from other thesis advisors? Okay. Sir Noel, naka-unmute na. On ready na yan. Sir Noel. <laughs> Hi. Good afternoon, guys. Well, of course, uh, number one, thesis, research is king. Okay? Your thesis proposal and thesis solution and everything will be the result and burnout of the thesis, the research that you will be doing. If your research is mediocre, that will be that is a result for a disaster. Kasi hap siya yung magiging ano niya, magiging thesis. Okay. So research and of course, hindi lang research yan. It's not just the gathering of facts. You have to interpret that. You have to do with the research so that you would be able to solve what you wanted to solve in your proposal. So in the lang gathering of action, you have to interpret what you have gotten, okay? And number two, show up, be there, okay, for the class. Hindi ka pwedeng Lone Ranger, okay? The mentor is there to help you, okay? And to guide you. Minsan kasi ang problema hindi nagpapakita yung mga sudyante, Tapos, papakita late na, late na. So, ang hirap nang iayusin yung thesis kasi sobrang, ano na, uh, nasa madaming nasayang na oras. So, the mentor is there to help you show up and be there and be counted. Okay? Importante yun, magpakita ka para matama yung direction mo. Okay? And uh, also, again, sabi nga nila, you focus. Okay? And do something that you are passionate about. Okay, do something that you love. Do something that interests you. Do something that you advocate. Do something that you not uh, malapit sa puso mo para that will be the push for you. Because if you do something that sinabi lang ng classmate mo o sinabi lang ng isang ano ng pakilala mo hindi mo naman gusto. Eh, mediocre ang magiging result. Okay, so, yun na. Show up. And of course, yung time management, important. Okay, 14 weeks lang tayo. Pagdating ng 10th week, ano na yan? Uploading na yan ng, ano, ng, ng mga collateral. So, imagine 10 weeks. Hindi 14 weeks, ha? 10 weeks lang ang gagamitin natin for the research alone, especially for our business. Okay? So, uh, make... Uh, uh, check the time that we have. So, yun lang for the... Thank you, Sir Noel. Hmm. Any more? I'd like to add. Yes, sir. Sir Jim. Ah, okay. Sige. <laughs> <laughs> um, just like to uh, um, tell to all the thesis proponents, now, even if you're the ones going to do it, there's nothing wrong asking for help. Okay. Um, in terms of, uh, uh, so for example, go doing survey, uh, you can ask a, a professional help to craft the right way of doing the survey. Or uh, you may you might be distribute the mga survey. But at the end of the day, you should be the one doing the analysis ng survey. No? So, yun. Kasi, uh, Nga, maiksi yung oras. <laughs> no, you have a very short amount of time. No. Um, get help. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir Janine. Yeah, can I share you my screen? Siguro. Ayaw ko nga, Joe. <laughs> Sige, sir, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi it encapsulates what what I want to to share, no, to say. So, ito na lang. Ito. So, getting things done. No, this is uh, something I formulated for uh, our search. No, <laughs> ano lang. Number one is, you know, have a place to to study. You have to have your Zen place, no, to focus. And then two, 
Well, caffeine, <laughs> caffeine is your friend from time to time when when you need to, pero not at late at night um, because uh, it would counter your number nine tip, which is get enough sleep. Pero yun nga, um, pinaka ano ko dito is, is your turn off your apps when you're trying to concentrate because you would like to uh, set aside yung time, exact time. So this is, this is important. And number five is to set and prepare your plan. No, you, 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 you have to plan to succeed. In order to do that, you have to have a game plan where you, you, what, what you need to do. You know, my list kind of, of the things that you need to do to, to fulfill all the chapters. You do it in a timely manner. So, and then another thing is keep a, a, a dedicated book, notebook for your researchers. Um, the, the most successful uh, students that I've seen no, have kept uh, their research book kasi that also is proof that you have done the work, the legwork, and the thinking. Uh, all the researchers. I know it's kind of tedious to write things down, but it, yun nga, it, it, it reflects. No? It's all in, in this one book that you, you're, when you're doing your researches or discoveries. No? It it's easy to follow. When you have, I even I know I have um a tablet. It's so hard for me to retrieve back information because it's all over the place. Different different files, different. I know. So that one book is um the really the 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 main thing that you should. And other things, of course, take short breaks. Hindi naman tuli tuli. Wagang magano go for a five hour uh or ten hour work on your thesis no you you take chunks one hour at a time and then take breaks in between and then yun yun lang ano ko yun ang uh, major tips ko to to for success no because this is something that i do when i'm overwhelmed with so many tasks and um, i just sit down hunker down and then concentrate on what i can do and schedule what i what i need to do okay. that's it Hi, mukhang mape-pressure ako magsalita kasi Hi, magsalita ma'am. lahat. <laughs> Hi everyone. So, yes, um I see very familiar faces. See, I names here kasi puro ma- si Javi lang ang nakikita kong ano. Okay, so um yeah, I just have two things to say, no. Number one is you own it. Own your project, own your topic. Okay? Never answer us, never say na um, kasi po sabi po nung advisor ko, ganito, ganito. Okay, that's pinaka-ayaw kong sagot yun. Kasi parang, anong, anong alam? Anong gusto mo? Anong gusto mo? Eh, kasi that's sa'yo yan eh, di ba? So, so you've researched on that. Second is, everything that you put in your research, everything that you put in your design should be evidence-based. Okay, hindi pwedeng, ay kasi gusto ko lang eh. Ay, kasi naisip ko ganyan eh. Pag tinanong sa'yo lang, o oh, bakit ganyan ang shape ng structure mo? Ay, kasi naisip ko lang eh. Ma'am, may ganyan. So, those two things. And, um yeah, it's correct na saying na parang, eh, kasi I've met my art, most of my art design students uh, recently. So, ang ganda na na talaga ng concept and design idea. And very, very relevant na. So, um, just don't forget, yeah, that's uh, the one that Sir Harvey said, na di, that we are architects. Okay, we have to learn to how to translate it. Translate all these concepts, all these ideas into tangible, tangible forms. Yung tipong mahahawakan natin, ganon. So, yes, translate it into architecture. Do not just settle with concepts. Yan lang. Thank you very much. And good luck. You know, we're here. We're all here, your advisors. So, kung gusto nyo pumasa, mas gusto namin kayong pumasa. Alright? So, yes. We're here for you. Thank you, everyone. And good luck. Thank you, ma'am. Thank Ganda you. na mga mentors. Sana yung mga students may mga tanong din before we close. It's already 2.26. <clears throat> thank, uh, thank you for the insights. Para. <laughs> Ang daming insights. Thank you. Stephanie. 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 Steph. 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 Ste
Um, I just have a question um, regarding like um, naming our thesis, like for the title, because sometimes um, what happens, like sometimes it happens, um, na parang we have a title for a thesis and then you hear it and then it's not exactly like swap to the actual thesis. So I just wanted to ask, since you are going to be our jurors also eventually, um, in naming the thesis title, um, what should we prioritize in mentioning? Should we prioritize the theory or um, the concept that we're going to be using? Or should we mention the problem more? Or should we mention the end users? You know? mm, so yung thesis title. So sa akin, no, ang advice ko lang sa isang thesis title, unang-una is yung pinaka-main, uh, an- ano ba yung um, expected dun sa project? Ano siya? No, parang ikaw, anong pangalan mo? ba diba? Anong pangalan mo? Ganon din yung thesis project natin, anong pangalan mo? Okay? So nandyan yung pinaka, fo- pinaka-main. Ano yung topic? And then nandyan din yung uh, solution. Ano siya, di ba? Pero you need to limit the words, okay? At the maximum, it's 12 words ang ating uh, recommended. Huwag masyadong mahaba, okay? They need to read your book. So, yun lang yung aking ano, advice. Nandun yung topic or yung focus plus yung solution in a 12-word na title. Yeah, Kaya, sir. So, ay, sorry. Mas sige. Balik po yung end product. Ano yung iyong proposal? Ano yung okay. aming expect? Thank you. Yes, Sir Jadina. No, when when I was doing my researches in in masters, the 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 main focus is actually the trying to solve no the research the questions muna ang priority. The title was the very last thing. <laughs> was the very last thing to solid solidify to encapsulate B- because once you you answer all the questions and the research then you back it up with data and then the title will become apparent not the title first um it it's uh, you siguro you could you could just put a, a initial title that because that's what you think at the moment but in the end the title will solidify only after you've done all the work. But, and it's only the time that that really uh, ito na yung title ko. Gusto ko to kasi it, it it encapsulates the words encapsulate what I have done already. Hmm. Ayan. Yeah, agree ako diyan kay Sir Janil. It's a working title. So yung final title would come doon sa Act 10. Okay, pero hindi tayo makakapag-work kung wala tayong title. So meron kang preliminary or initial title that you can work on. So when we say that it's a working title, it's not a working topic. The topic is still there. It's just the uh, how you phrase or rephrase, no, yung ating title. Yeah. Uh, can I just uh, say something? Yes, sir, no web. Okay, okay. Uh, for the research title, uh, these are some of the things that you need to check. A good title predicts the content of the research. It should be interesting to the reader. It should reflect the tone of writing. It contains uh, important keywords, okay? So make sure that the research title describes the topic, the method, the sample, and the result of the study, okay? So pagka tinignan yung title nyo, it already shows what your thesis is all about. Hindi na hukulaan babasa kung ano yung magiging thesis mo. Nandun na, in a gist, it is the title is the very gist of what you are, uh, what your proposal is. So, yun lang. And probably, yun, you go by that. Yun yung, yung sinasabi ko sa student. Okay. All right. Wala nang question. Jeff. Um, Jericho. Okay. Jericho. Okay lang magsasaka na. Sige, Jericho. Hi. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Um, I was just hoping. Oh, oh, sir, no, this one pa. <laughs> um, I was just hoping to ask you on the process of Revalida. Like, um, how will the jurors be chosen? How will the students like? Is it gonna be a simultaneous um 
three jurors on one, like per class, or may schedule talaga each student to present to three jurors. Mm. Okay. So for your arc design, the jurors will be uh, invited by your advisors. No, sa ngayon na online ang ating ang ating setup, but before no sa face to face, syempre yung ating pag-schedule ng mga jurors is depende rin sa kanila available time, no, mga ganyan. So it would be parang by invitation from the advisor. So yun yung similar process for Act Desk 9. And for Act Desk 10, the advisor can invite the jurors. And uh, as far as I know, the student of Act Desk 10 is also uh, given a chance to invite no, yung kanilang possible jurors sa Act Desk 10. But of course, yung ating um, group no, should be meron tayong faculty members slash isang thesis council or thesis board okay. member. Okay, so ganun yung composition natin. So sa process, yung uh, advisor just, natin ang mag-ano dyan. Yes, Sir Harvey? I'll just supple supplement yung sinabi ni Ms. MC. So when we distribute yung operational guidelines, um, basahin natin, um, we have a separate for ArcDIS 9 and ArcDIS 10. Um, we are still um, implementing online um, revalida. Uh, pandemia pa rin tayo. So that's something that uh, we also have to understand. So for online revalida, um, the students are given two options. Uh, the first option is live Q&A or, um, or um, email uh, question and answer. So usually, email question and answer yung ginagamit for Rivalida because uh, medyo mahirap yung live Q&A because of unang-una internet access, pangalawa um, availability of your jurors. So for ArcDIS 9, um, Rivalida, uh, jurors are identified depending on your topic. Uh, tinutulungan tayo ng mentors dyan to identify who would be the jurors that would fit at nakakaintindi dun sa topic natin. Pagdating sa Art Des 10, um, ganun pa din. You still have two choices uh, for the terminal defense. Uh, live questioning or email uh, questioning. Ang difference is that for Art Des 10, um, yung proponent na ang magnonominate ng uh, ng juror niya. So for Art Des 10 we are allowed to get jurors from external um uh external juror so outside our uh, um council na expert doon sa topic natin. So so some topic covers yung mga psychology. So may psychologist tayong um, ini-invite. Some topics are more on transport. So may transport expert tayong ini-invite. And two more jurors na internal. So pwede rin kung sino yung nag-juror sa inyo nung revalida, yun din ang i-invite i, natin. I, i -invite natin. Um, for ARC this 10, um, it's best to arrange this at the early stages. So kalimitan, um, medyo mahirap maghaglap ng juror. Um, lalo na pag Pasko. So, swerte tayo, hindi hindi face-to-face. -face. So, we always have this issue. But um, at least pag online, it's easier kasi when you upload your um, for Revalida and for thesis, uh, for terminal defense, your mentor will create a, uh, a Google Drive folder. Tapos, individual students would organize their own folders organize their own files. So ang ilalagay doon yung book, yung yung slides and even in some cases a video of you presenting the slides tapos ibibigay yung link sa sa juror. So yun. So organize your files um early and then for for terminal defense ganun din. Invite your jurors early. Meron tayong format for letters para pag-invite ng juror. It feels more professional. Hindi yung pag nag-invite tayo ng jury through Facebook chat lang. ba? So seniors na tayo, dapat marunong na tayong makipag-usap, um, uh, gumawa ng mga business letters when we reach out, 
have courtesy to at least say good day, uh, introduce yourself, sino yung anong section, sino yung mentor, what do you want with the juror or what do you want with the mentor. So try to learn those um, courtesy already para at least um, ako um, and other mentors uh, will respect yung invitation more if it's formally tendered kumpara doon sa nag-email lang tayo tapos eh sir hindi sumagot eh then wala na tayo magagawa pag ganun so so have the courtesy to email so yun yun yung difference natin so pag pag revalid ah, um it would be it would still be online and um usually live question or um or emailed questions so ang email after the question has been sent to you by the juror um you are given a day to complete tapos balik agad sa kanila and and the, the questions they have to be compiled with your book so kailangan nandoon yun para malaman yung development ng thesis natin okay lino ba uh, jericho yes sir very much Ayan. thank you thank you pa miss mary thank, thank you sir harvey, harvey. Eh, ano ko lang, follow up ko lang yung sinabi ni Sir Harvey, to reiterate yung ating Google Drive for your collaterals or the student's collateral. The folder should be uh, created by the advisor. Okay? And hindi yung shared lang to the advisor. Kailangan yung advisor ang may control doon sa folder for the class. And then may isa-isang folder doon each of your student wherein doon sila mag upload ng mga collaterals because Uh, we have experienced this na shared yung folder, tinignan ko siya ngayon, pagtingin ko bukas iba na, no, for the, ano, may mga nag-i-invite ng revalida, gano'n, sa iba yung laman. Uh, so, para maiwasan natin yan, so the advisor should be the one to create the folder and limit the access, no, once na tapos na yung uploading, yung mga jurors naman ang mag-access. Okay, for ano, editing or something. Patandalin natin yung editing. Viewing is okay. Ayan, sir. Yes, Alison? Hi, Miss. Um, I have a question with week 14 because I saw what's written as review, prototyping, and great consultation. What about writing we have to um, work on for the 14th week? Come again, what about? Prototyping. Prototyping? So it's ano uh, it's about yung finishing ng inyong mga works or my requirements finalization of everything that you will need as your final uh, requirement for final submission and grading after kasi kung bawa nagrevalida or nag defense kayo there might be some mga recommendations for editing no mga ganyan. so you will be given a week to finish all of those things and finalize the book so yun yung ating Uh, time, no? To finish everything before the uploading of grade sa CIS. Um, yes, sir. Prototyping actually applies to if your topic also is uh, materials. Um, if you are researching about a material, architectural material component, um, in Art Desk 9, we do require you to prototype yung material. So, hindi pa siya yung final product but the prototype of materials. Admittedly, during this pandemic, medyo mahirap yung material research kasi the access to DOST is limited, the access to materials are limited, uh, but uh, we still encourage yung material research and I think nandito si Sir Alex um, of HiFi to tell us, ang maganda kasi nito, if you are considering materials as a research we already have, uh, we are planning to create a sort of um, a joint project with HiFi na if the material proves to be with great potential, um, it could lead to a startup. So meron na tayong mga projects before the pandemic na nagkaroon ng startup projects na napondohan ng HiFi. And um, we're trying to um, bring back that ethos para at least... Um, may extend rin yung ano natin yung research natin sir alex if you can magandang segue yun na na uh, hindi ko yung plan ano <laughs> oh nga sakto sakto na no? uh, sir harvey thank you thank you for ano um lending me some of your time to ayan, to introduce myself and uh, 
share what this hi-fi is for uh, the Benilde Architecture Program. So hello everyone. Uh, it's actually my first time to attend uh, uh, the thesis forum of uh, Benilde Architecture. So yeah, uh, let me just introduce myself. I am architect Alex Abiar. I am one of the pioneer uh, architects of uh, Benilde. So yeah, I hope everyone was listening listening uh, earlier uh, because uh, yeah basically everything uh, our mentors uh, mentioned earlier or whatever their advice was uh, that's very true I've been there so so they know best and uh, yeah siguro ano no let me just share uh, some tips no so siguro um, let me just emphasize that uh please don't be afraid to, to reach out and please do reach out to your mentors and also to your colleagues, uh, whatever whatever you need. No, Sometimes it's hard for our mentors to extract or give inputs uh, to our ideas. So yeah, if you know someone, uh, if, if you have uh, a community, that's great. But uh, if wala pa, then please do ano, uh, try to connect now. No? So just do it. Don't be afraid. And uh, at the same time, it's also important no, that to acknowledge that we all have uh, our own way of doing things. No? So si HiFi, uh, kami po, um, office kami in Benin, we are the hub of innovation for inclusion. So yeah, I think it was briefly mentioned by architect Harvey na we actually support uh, startups. No? So itong mga startups na po ito, uh, basically they are ventures. No? So we, we try to uh, make business out of uh, new ideas. No? So, gaya nga nung sabi ni Architect Harvey, one of this is um, basically inventing materials. No? So, isa to sa mga pwede gawin with uh, SED. Yeah, so, uh, and uh, as mentioned earlier with uh, in, through the chat, we actually do workshops uh, about human-centered design, design thinking actually we also have uh, intellectual property boot camps no actually maganda sana if uh, our students can actually join uh, these workshops even before our thesis kasi it's uh, it really helps in the no the development of our idea so yeah um, i think i already shared the link no uh, for the application form or basically just a registration of our ideas kasi our hopes in Benil is that after our ano, uh, after we do our thesis or yeah even be, during uh, the thesis period, uh, nasusuportan sana kayo ni Benil to develop our projects and eventually sana hindi lang siya malalagay sa shelves ng LRC, no? Sana uh, matuloy tuloy natin siya and uh, may implement natin siya. So with that, uh, I think. More or less, um, na introduce ko na briefly kung ano si Hi-Fi. And if you want to know more about us, um, he, I'm sending here a video of uh, uh, just a short brief of what uh, Hi-Fi is and what uh, social enterprise is. So you can watch that video or try to connect with me through uh, our email. I'll also send it here through our chat. Yeah. So I think I lang mo na architect Harvey. Thank you. Thank you. Alex. So, sana makonsider niyo if you guys are leaning towards materials. So, pag sinabi nating materials, ano ba yung materials? Um, we view materials uh, na pang construction or even materials na systems. Those are the things that we can research on. May mga uh, medyo medyo gas gas na yung mga recycled um, plastic, gagawing bricks. But but that's a an example of a you know, of a material research na pwede natin i-consider. Yes, Alex. Yeah, Architect RB actually no, uh, I think isa sa mga na-explore din ni Bibinil actually is the uh, parang design in the metaverse uh, universe. <laughs> so so I think some of our students are also interested in exploring that so maybe ano uh, uh, HiFi can also ano uh, collaborate or support you on that matter if uh, if that's a direction 
uh, Binid Architecture is exploring. Ayan, sir. All right. So, mga AR, VR, augmented reality. Yes. In the yung metaverse, because they have a current um, grant from the OST regarding that platform. So, maganda itong um, so ibig sabihin nito there is an extension of your research uh, beyond yung Arc Destin after ng Terminal Defense. Pwede pa natin siyang i-pursue habang nagtatrabaho at it's it's it's, it's ano it's a continuing education para hindi ka limited sa research and it takes a life of its own. Okay? So, question pa, 247, medyo nag, ano na tayo, extend na tayo, pasensya na, madaldal yung mga mentors natin. Uh, ako, madaldal kasi ako, pasensya na. Bihira nga ako magsalita kasi napapahaba yung ano. But uh, we hope na nasagot natin yung mga questions and we will be sharing this video recording sa mga mentors natin. Hopefully, the mentors can post in their Big Sky accounts or kung um, Microsoft Teams, kung ano yung ginagamit nila. So that um, some of the students na hindi nakapag, uh, naka-attend will be able to uh, watch the recordings. So, Ms. MC. Okay, so I think... Pick up tayo bago mag-play the documentation. Picture. Yung mga pwede mag-turn on ng camera, if you can, please turn on your cameras for, ano, uh, for documentation purposes lang naman. We will not share this. Okay. Si Kiefer. Thesis ka na, Kiefer, or search pa lang? Thesis na, sir. Wow. So, meron tayong five, five slides. <laughs> Dami ah. Ay, sige, sir. Oh, first slide muna tayo. Three, two, one. Wait lang po. Sige ko lang. Okay. Second slide, please. Di ba nag-iba-iba ito? Sabay ka. Three, two, one. Second slide. Third. Ang pangalay ito actually. <laughs> Five slides pa tayo. Six na nga eh. Ano ba ito? Bum eh. <laughs> Dami na nga nabawas eh. Ay, panabawas. <laughs> Pang fourth. May dumadating pa. <laughs> Admit muna natin ito. Iba. Sana eh. Iba yata eh. O oh, may humabol para lang sa picture taking. Oo, oh, may dumadag. <laughs> para ma-absenan. <laughs> Slide number five. One more. All right. Okay. So, okay. lastly, um, congratulations don sa Yugto team natin that participated in Projeto um, finalists. So, huwag sana kayo magsawang sumali sa mga competition. So, congratulations. I, I see some of them here. Namiss ko oh. na yung mga students ko, ah. <laughs> oh. Congratulations sa Yugto. And... Hopefully, marami pa tayong mga students na may involved sa mga kakakasya. Okay, ulit. So, sa mga mentors, um, sana sumali ulit tayo. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Have Thank a nice day. day. Thank you. Thank you.